Welcome back to the Hero Signal. Today, we're getting into one of my favorite characters, Hulk, with one of the most fun builds to play, the Gamma Bomb build. Hulk is a really fantastic character, but he can be a little tough to understand at first. Even with some high defense, if you aren't playing Hulk to his strengths, he can still die as fast as anyone. But with the Gamma Bomb build, you'll have some fantastic sustain, and your damage will be high and consistent. A big part of this build has to do with the positive and negatively charged status effects. For those that aren't aware, there are positive and negative statuses that you can inflict on an enemy. By attacking a negatively statused enemy with a positive status, the damage is increased substantially, and vice versa. Hulk's Gamma build revolves around several abilities with Gamma damage, but other statuses can be thrown in as you find them. My personal favorite is Pym Shrink, as it increases the damage you do to enemies, but it also decreases the damage that they do to you. Hulk also has some fantastic damage modifier gear, so once you have him fully specced out, you're going to find that even the toughest enemies are no match for you. Let's start off with the build and the specialty tree. Bone Shaker is actually the best ability in your arsenal. It taunts enemies, but also increases your defense quite a bit. You want to keep this up as often as you can. For this spec, I've chosen Rampaging Bone Shaker, so that every 5 kills will extend Bone Shaker by 5 seconds. On the second specialization, Savage Heroism is going to be your main heroic regen ability. Make sure that you position yourself within a lot of enemies so that you affect as many as possible. For the Heroic Assault ability Stranglehold, I've chosen Irradiated Destruction for the first specialization. Hey, this is a Gamma Bomb build, and this is part of being a Gamma Bomb. Stranglehold has a lot of uses though. For example, Stranglehold will proc an automatic takedown that normally would only be available after you've stunned an enemy. By grabbing an enemy, it will also give you the benefits of any takedown attack, and for this build, it will give you a Heroic Orb. While you can spec an additional 50% chance to get a Heroic Orb on kill with Heroic Destruction, the added Gamma damage is far more useful in a host of different situations. For the second Assault Specialization, I went with Double Strangle. Again, this is because you can proc Heroic Orbs off of the takedown attacks, and it also helps that you can stack those Gamma Clouds. For our ultimate Heroic ability, Thunderclap, Specialization 1, Ground 0. This is our main Gamma Bomb. It doesn't do as high of damage as Fault Line, so you may not see those huge 600,000 or higher numbers, but you can still see some pretty high damage hits, and the cloud will continue to wreak havoc on enemies that you don't kill right away. It's also really great because it hits in a 360 degree AoE, and also heals you while you stay in the cloud. For the second specialization, Thunderclap Heroic Recovery is what I chose that, at this time, appears to be a little bugged, as it doesn't produce Heroic Orbs. Luckily, Bone Shaker will proc those orbs for you, so this is more of just a placeholder skill until that gets fixed. In the Mastery Tree, for your melee skills, on the left, Combatant Shield is what I chose. It's not particularly helpful, but it can save you in certain circumstances. In the middle, Hard Swings is what I chose, but that's really up to you. The only one that really matters in this tree is Heroic Takedown Mastery, which is a must-have, and that's on the far right. Under the range tree, this one is up to your personal preference as well, but if I were you, I'd stick to my good friend, the Big Rock. Projectile specialization, I chose Wrecking Ball. The reason for this is twofold. For one, it can hit all enemies in a straight line, which is great for vault defense, and two, it's just insanely fun. In the middle, range damage is the only one worth using. For efficiency specialization on the right, Meteoric is what I chose, and it's worth it for reasons we'll get into later. Intrinsic Ability Tree, first column, Raging Heroics, just another Heroic Recharge buff. Middle column, Enhanced Damage for an additional 15% while Rage is active. The last specialization, Controlled Rage, reduces the initial cost of triggering Rage, which is great if you want to spam your Rage for counterattacks. The last tree, Intrinsic Overcharge, Chance boost in the first column increases critical hit chance by 15%. Totally worth it. In the center, damage boost will increase damage by 20% when overcharged. And on the last column, temper will reduce your overcharge drain so you can stay overcharged longer. For our gear, there are quite a few things that work here, but the major artifact you're going to want the ring for sure. Make sure you have plasma, pim, or cosmic damage on your heavy attacks. Though light attacks will work too. You can even have Plasma on your heavy attacks, Pym on your ranged attacks for your Rock Swing, and then Gamma on your heroic attacks. Your damage will be intense. 
For your stats, you want to prioritize Might, Valor, and Resolve. Resolve is important for your health regen and is your main source of defense outside of Bone Shaker. But it's okay if your Resolve is on the lower side, just make sure that you are utilizing Bone Shaker often so you stay alive. So how are you going to play Hulk? There are a few ways with this build, but the most convenient way is to get into a huge group of enemies, use Bone Shaker to taunt them, and then blast them away with Ground Zero, picking off whoever is left in the Gamma Cloud with some heavy ground pounds. Pick up your Heroic Orbs and repeat as necessary. There is some versatility here too. For example, you can grab your large rock and apply status effects beforehand, if you want, so that your Gamma Cloud does a ton more damage. Dodging while holding the large rock is a fantastic way to deal damage safely and proc status effects from your ranged abilities. Or generally, an AoE attack in a crowded area is great for increasing your rage quickly. Just keep in mind, if you're going to be knee deep in enemies, you should use Bone Shaker first so that you aren't vulnerable to attack or getting interrupted. In fact, Bone Shaker plus Rage will make you virtually unstoppable, so use both when doing a heavy ground pound and before you know it, everyone around you will be a pile of heroic orbs. Other than that, don't be stingy with your rage. Make sure you're using it often for a damage boost and to keep yourself alive. There are a lot of great defense and invulnerability pieces of gear to help you with your defense along the way. Just find a defensive strategy that works for you. I personally found some Jarvis Barrier gear that procs when I counterattack, and it's worked fairly well for me. But I've also slotted some other defensive perks. Well there you have it, if you have any questions on this build or you just want to talk about the Hulk and how he's working for you, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.